signal to noise. Um, that's <laughs> that it. All right. No, because you were the weird bit with the the echo from the laugh. Maybe we don't need to do an interview. We just do this. <laughs> so I'm just going to say welcome to Signal Tonight. We're here with Dan from Molino Guitars. Right this time, right? Yeah. All right. Welcome to Signal Tonight. We're here with Dan from Molino Guitars. <laughs> that's fine, isn't it? That's it. Yeah, that's all the Tone Twins would do. They just would say it in Welsh. So. Do it in Welsh. Do a Welsh one. <laughs> I don't. Dan, thanks for joining us. Uh, welcome to the channel. It's the first time I've had you here. Yes. I don't think many of you will know who Dan is. He did have a semi-successful operation called 15 Mildly Second. Mildly less than successful. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 15 Second Pedal Demos Gear yeah, Demos. Yeah. yeah, I liked it, if that's any consolation. Currently, to... currently more successful than others. Oh, say. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so there is that. Vastly. Vastly. Um, but you're here to help us out. You've brought something special, you've started a new yes. venture? Yeah, so a new sort of thing, um, very new for me at least, um, is something that I probably should have done years ago, but um, I've started building guitars and this is the guitar brand and then Molly No Guitars and this is the Magpie model. This is your first completed build, is that right? Um, the first sort of production build kind I would say, so sorry, one yeah, that's like kind of ready to go, yeah. um, that I'm happy with all the sort of contours and specs and yeah. everything that sort of makes it look like a real guitar. Sweet. And it's an original design? Kind of, yeah. So a sort of the, the, the model name being the Magpie is that it's kind of owed to sort of my past um, with... Um, being like a Notts County fan, unfortunately, and sort of going um, there with my granddad when I was a kid, and the magpie sort of being like picking all the best bits of various designs to make one sort of hopefully cool design of the best sorts of various other things. Sorry. And it's mainly focused on the Sven Gon Eriksson, so Campbell era of Notts County. Yeah, the absolute disaster. <laughs> <laughs> that was. It was amazing. It was the best bit. It was the best bit. Talk us through, what have you done, what's on this? So, I mean, the shape and stuff is, I mean, obviously it's like offset type, jazz master type thing, um, but it's it's mainly based around like an old echo guitar. Okay. Um, that I, I mean, it, it, I saw it years ago in, I think it was in Hanks on Denmark Street. Nice. And I kind of fell in love with the shape, but it was a piece of shit. Um, the echo, not this, right? Oh yeah, no, yeah. this is this is <laughs> this is right. This is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this is this that's is basically my way of putting um, all the things that I thought were wrong with that sort of thing, right in a way to yeah. make it more of like more more ready for like the modern player sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. So Playable. like a a trem system that works, a neck that feels a bit more normal. It's a novelty. And. Um, because it's kind of familiar, but not a rip yeah. off of a, a Jaguar or something yeah, like that. Exactly, which yeah, exactly. I, I really appreciate. And what pickups have you got in it? So we've got um, a set of McNellys in this. So we've got the neck and bridge. You've got the McNelly Stagger Swaggers. And in the middle, um, you've got a McNelly Duckling, which is basically like a, a strap pickup in a telly 
neck pickups kind of okay. size. That's purely an aesthetic choice, as opposed to anything. Yeah. Um, but it just meant, as, especially as like a demo sort of guitar one that people can try, it covers a lot of bases that people might want to get from a guitar. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, play something for us. So I've been playing this all morning really, um, we've done some little bits of demo shot and stuff which you'll see, but it is pretty great. So you've got a six way switch in here, right? Yeah, so that's one of the, um, that's one of the uh, three way switches, so I think it was like um, the idea was brought up through like Jimmy Page's guitar tech or something like that. So when they did the reunion show and they had the three pickup Les Paul, I'm sure that's the story behind it. Um, so you've got yeah six six way switch. So it's an extra switch, extra position over a strap. So you can still get your in between strapped kind of tones. Yeah. Because um, the stagger swaggers are essentially like hum cancelling P90s. Um, so yeah, you can still get the in-between strap pickup type tones, like two and four position. And then also... And then you've got your two outers okay. if you want to as well. So, for instance, so this is just the neck, right, I yep. think? Uh, this would be... Neck and bridge, right? Just the bridge. This would be bridge and middle. Three, would it? Uh, that's just middle. Just middle. Yeah. And then neck and middle. Yeah. You've got every possible um, combination, and they all sound great. Um, this trem is fantastic, so I haven't spent a lot of time with offset trems. Um, and you hear all the horror stories about knocking arms and things mm -hmm. that don't stay in tune and anything. And this is spot on. I've, I've had no problems with it. So, so yeah, this is a descendant uh, trem and uh, the companion bridge that goes with it. So Chris Swope from Swope Guitars uh, designed that. Um, so it is essentially like his standard sort of offset trem but you've got the little slots there, so the the break angle from the bridge ah, okay. to the to the trem is a bit. You can you can put a couple of shims in there to make it a bit more of an angle, so it's just mm. makes it a bit sturdier. Um, and then the bridge, it's it, yeah, it's it, they're not like like so on uh, jazz masters and stuff that I've had in the past with this like standard bridge that comes with it. You find that the strings slip off and stuff like that. Yeah. And it just sort of. Um, does away with any of that really. The sort of barrel saddles are they like on the Mustang bridge. So, yeah, 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 that's yeah. the kind of thing, yeah. The whole on your website you've got the guitar like almost completely customizable. Mm -hmm. Do you always do it with the tram or can we get like a hardtail or just there could be a hard I've not on the website at the minute there's not a hardtail option. Okay. Um there is an, an option if you don't want the um this type of trem, there's like a uh, sorry, a Dusenberg trem. Um, which is a bit more like a big speed, but in my opinion, a hell of a lot better. Okay. 
Um, and yeah, so that, there's various options. So with with the builder that's on the on the website, you can pick from McNelly pickups, Lola pickups, um, the two trem styles, different pick guards. So we can use um, seven eight workshop uh, pick guards, which are like premium Italian and tortoiseshell type things, which are really cool. Various colors. So I've gone for more like options with the classic like Fender type colors. So so this one's your, like your Olympic white, you can have like Fiesta red, olive green, sort of things like that. Uh, and then your standard sort of choices around um, fretboards and, and whatnot as well. Cool. Uh, we'll put a link in uh, the description, obviously, to the website. It is wicked. Um, you can essentially build the guitar, see the guitar, see what the guitar is going to yeah. cost you. Um, and I think you mentioned that this is not CNC, this particular guitar. This one isn't, though. No. But then you um, the production models, if you like, will Yeah, be. they will be. I mean, it's it's big. I mean, it's it, with CNCs, it's a funny one because people are still think that once you've got a CNC, that's it. The CNC does all the work. Um, it's far from it. <laughs> so there's still a hell of a lot to do. It's no different yeah. to sort of me hand writing it. Um, it's just more precise and... A hell of a lot safer, so I'm not worried about my fingers coming off in a in a rat. Yeah, you don't know what your fingers get, bro. <laughs> but um, oh man, it's beautiful. It plays beautiful as well. This is, this is a new sort of style on me, um, and I'm completely sold on the vibrato. The pickups are fantastic. The workmanship on everything is is great. Um, I would definitely... It could get to be an expensive video, couldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Dan, thank you so much for joining us. Um, if people want to get in touch with you, what's the website address? Uh, so yeah, nice and easy, it's mollynoguitars.com. And Instagram, exactly the same. Wallino guitars, uh, same Facebook and all that sort of thing. So yeah, if people want to uh, order a guitar, uh, you can go on the builder or just drop me a message, and we can go from there. Wicked. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, if you haven't yet, if you give us a like, click subscribe, and um, yeah, come back for more. Um, we're going to be doing a few pedal demos and bits and bobs like that that you might enjoy. Um, for now, cheers. <laughs> and I think you've got options for the markers as well um, yeah so that's that's more like if it's basically black or white so if you don't want white ones on a maple board so you can see them you can have yeah. black ones instead yeah these are very cool as well um, the markers are really cool <laughs> it's all right. So there's a cut point. <laughs> um, do we want to uh, make some? <laughs> should we do this again? No, I think it's gone well so far. To be fair.